Hello everyone and welcome back to the garden. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Rather than planting our peonies into the ground, we're actually going to be planting peonies into containers. More specifically, Ito peonies. Ito peonies are actually a cross between, I believe, the uh, herbaceous peonies and tree peonies. Don't quote me on any of this, by the way. I'm just totally talking from memory here. I believe they were first hybridized by, I think they were a Japanese breeder. I think Ito was, was his name, maybe. I only remember this because I never knew what they were called and I called them Ito peonies in front of somebody once and they were like, are you stupid? And I was like, yeah, I guess I am, sorry. And uh, so if, you, if you've been mispronouncing it too, don't worry, I'm sure you're in good company. Either way, we're going to be planting these in containers today, which is something a little bit different. Uh, the main reason I am planting them in containers rather than planting them directly in the ground, uh, if you've been following the channel any length of time this year, you know I am trying my best to leave this garden. Uh, this garden is not the garden for me. It's not the garden of my dreams. I'm just I'm selling off into the sunset in some other place. Don't know where yet. Still don't have a place to go, but that's besides the point. I want to make sure if I do finally end up with a different garden space that I am able to bring these peonies with me. And in addition to this video, eventually I'm going to have a video probably about digging up all the other peonies that I've planted in my yard so I can take them with me because I have about 20 or 30 in my yard and they are definitely coming with me. I'm not leaving my peonies. Are you crazy? Not leaving my peonies behind. So let's get into how to pot up these Ito peonies. So one of the first things that we really want to consider is that this planting into the containers is very, very temporary. Uh, container culture, from everything that I've ever read about peonies and especially Ito peonies, container culture is not ideal for these plants. The root systems can grow very, very large very quickly. And of course, they are beautiful and it would be nice to kind of have those blooms and containers for porches and things. I definitely think that would be gorgeous. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's really well suited for that. So uh, this is going to be a very temporary fix. What I am going to do is I am going to grab a huge pot. Um, now I think probably a five gallon pot would be best, but um, I'm going to go with a three gallon, 15 to 20 inches across is going to be the ideal size I think I want here uh, for these roots. And that's just for one plant. I have several of these plants, so I am going to have to uh, use a lot of potting soil. So to get this started, I'm just going to put a little bit of gravel down in the bottom of my pot just to make sure that none of my soil starts to leak out or there's no clogging in terms of drainage and everything like that, just because uh, drainage, very, very important. I've learned the hard way over the years, especially this year, I've had a lot of trouble with drainage. Then I am just going to start filling that with a potting mix. Of course, you can use any potting mix you want, or you can kind of create your own mixture uh, with perlite and things like that, making sure that it's nice and fluffy, um, really good drainage. I already mentioned that. I just can't, I can't say enough about drainage. I've been, I've lost so many plants this year with drainage issues. I've had, you know, I'm just saying it again. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to soak this root or anything like that. I'm just going to uh, arrange it on the top of the soil that I have put into my container. Make sure that the growth nodes are pointing up. It's very important with peonies. Sometimes they can look a little bit wonky and you're not sure which direction is up. I've had that experience before. Trust me, you're not alone. Now, even though I'm not personally soaking these peony tubers or tubers roots, I don't even know what I'm planting anymore. Um, it should be noted that some people do, especially if they have been stored long and dried out and look a little bit dried out. I've seen people soak them for about two hours. I always start getting nervous when I soak things. Uh, since I am planting these in the spring, that's the main reason I'm not soaking them. I know our springs are very wet. We get a lot of rain. These things are, I'm pretty confident these things are going to wake right up as soon as the rain starts and it warms up and everything. So that's really my rationale behind my decision. But it could be different depending upon where you are. Now when I am situating this root into the container, um, when I cover it with soil, I want to make sure that I'm not covering it more than about two inches deep. A lot of peonies, especially it seems like the herbaceous peonies, 
are really kind of finicky and picky about how deep you plant them. And I've even had some plants just not even grow, I assume. I'm assuming because I'd planted them a little bit too deep. So it is just something to kind of keep in mind and consider as you are planting these peonies into their pots. Now, once I have all the soil in, all the, the roots are in, got everything covered, I've got the pot labeled and everything, I'm just going to give this container a very, very, very good water. And uh, it's gonna be outside ready to grow for the spring. Uh, just wait patiently for that growth to start to emerge. Now, these roots are very young, so it's unlikely that I'll get any flowers this year. Maybe I'll get one, a stray bloom or so. But these these Ato peony blooms are insanely gorgeous. They have those beautiful characteristics of those tree peonies, which are just so lovely. I don't have any tree peonies yet, but hopefully I'll be able to get some in the near future and find a place for them to grow. Who knows? Who knows what it, what's in store? That's really about it for this video. I know that it was pretty simple, but I did want to sh just show you what I was doing in case anybody else wanted to give it a try as well or is, you know, doing it also. If you have any experiences uh, with this, be sure to leave them down in the comments below or if you grow any Ato peonies yourself, let me know all about it. I'd love to hear all about it. Um, I hope that you're having such an incredible day and I hope it's really sunny wherever you are. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.